My name is Joe Murray and I'm a gastroenterologist here at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota and I specialize in the treatment of celiac disease. Today we're talking about a recent publication from Sweden and the United Kingdom and this is on brain trauma or traumatic brain injury and celiac disease risk. And what these investigators have done is they've taken a large database of people identified with celiac disease in Sweden, over 29,000 and have looked for an association with a history of head trauma. And they have found that there seems to be an increased risk of celiac disease in the year following a head trauma diagnosis. Now the increased risk is not high, it's, it's a 10% increased risk. Um, so that's not a very big increase, but it was statistically significant. Now the authors go on to hypothesize that perhaps head trauma may have, um, through causing some mind-brain uh, injury, have released an enzyme. We call this part of the, basically an enzyme of, in the brain called TG6. And TG6 is very like TG2, or we know that as translutaminase, or tissue translutaminase, which is an antigen that's recognized in celiac disease patients. And the authors go on to speculate that maybe that brain injury or brain trauma released some TG6 from where it is in the brain and set up a reaction of the immune system against it then, that then bled over to cause a reaction like celiac disease. Now they do point out it's also possible that maybe it was the fact that they had a head trauma that brought them to medical attention and then perhaps that increased the likelihood of a diagnosis of celiac disease. The other possibility is that we know that celiac disease can, be, can affect one's balance. And perhaps the patient's coordination or balance was a little off, so they were more likely to fall and develop brain trauma. Now, obviously, to study that would require going back to understanding what exactly were the causes of the head injury that occurred in these people. So certainly food for some thought. Um, we've long known that, um, or speculated at least, that stresses, operations, um, major social stress possibly could occur prior to a diagnosis of celiac disease. And also there's been work suggesting that an infection, such as a gastroenteritis infection, might precede celiac disease. Anyway, this will be a, a source of um, some speculation and I think further work to try and see if we can link celiac disease type reactions with the nervous system and in this case head trauma. Thank you.